Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is our last Halloween makeup look. This one is actually um, an inspiration that I got from a picture off of Pinterest. I was like, okay, I didn't even think about doing this. So thanks Pinterest for the inspiration, but it is a tribal war paint. I figured it went quite well with my dreads and feathers I had going on. So we just kind of had fun with it. I just use eyeshadows and basic products for this look so it's super easy to do and I'm going to get right into it. So starting off I'm just going to go in with a pale foundation full coverage to start from a clean canvas and this is my L'Oreal True Match in W1 and I'm just going to buff that all over my face to cover any imperfections so it's as pale as possible. Then going in with my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer, I'm going to put this on my eyelids, underneath my eyes, my nose, and my chin to conceal any dark circles, veins, anything that um, could pop through our shadows and to help prime everything. Then I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder and I'm going to pack this underneath my eyes with a beauty blender and on my chin and around my nose so I don't crease, but then all over my face I'll be using just a big powder brush because I want everything to be set since we're doing an eyeshadow for our war paint. I don't want this to stick to any places and look patchy so this is going to help it blend really seamlessly for us. Then going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm taking this reddish brown color, it's like a chestnut, and I am taking on a bigger blending brush and I'm going to buff this all across my forehead about three quarters of the way down and then we'll transition to a red color and I'm just layering this and layering this, be patient with it because it takes freaking forever. <laughs> and also be patient with it so it doesn't get spotty. And then I'm going into my Love Plus shadow from Sugar Pill and I am buffing this right underneath it with the same size blending brush, just obviously a clean one. And I'm going to blend this into the brown and then I'll go back and forth between the brushes to where that transition is seamless and I don't have a line and it's not splotchy and weird. And I'm going to blend this all the way to my eyebrows and to the middle of my eyebrows before we transition to our next color. And I'm following the natural shape of my eyebrows for this color as well so it looks more seamless. Then I'm mixing together an orange color and like a yellow tone to make this really pretty like for orange tone. And I'm going to buff this right underneath it and buff it into my crease area and on my eyelid. Buff it down on my nose a little bit and kind of blend out that red. I'm going to go back into this a little bit later but this is going to be our transition color in our crease to where everything is seamless from our lid to our crease. Now going into a ColourPop um, eyeshadow, I can't remember the name of this, I'll put it in the description box for you guys, but I went ahead and dampened my flat synthetic brush and I'm going to pack this onto my eyelid. I want this to be as opaque as possible and I want the crease to be pretty sharp. And then I'm going to extend it and wing it out where it will be kind of like a cut crease slash dramatic eyeliner for us. And I'm just going to slowly create that shape using the same brush. And then two, I want to extend it pretty far out because right here I'm dragging it underneath and I want that connection to be seamless between the wing and my under eye area. Then I'm going in with that orange combo of shadows and I'm buffing out my lower lash line area and that's just going to be diffused down. And keep in mind we want this to be a little bit messy because it is a tribal war paint. I don't want it to be perfect because it's supposed to look like we kind of use minerals to do it. Now going in with another ColourPop eyeshadow, I'm going to pop this into my tear duct area and drag it down. It's like a metallic gold and I did dampen my brush for this as well because I want this to be very metallic looking. And then I'm going in with a really pretty pink tone on a damp brush and I'm going to pop this right in the center of my eyelid to really open my eyes and brighten everything up and again give it more of that metallic tone to it so we have that um, like vintage look to our war paint. Now I'm going in with my red eyeshadow just on a blush brush and I am using this as blush obviously 
So a little bit at a time with this one, I just wanted it to be super intense for this look. Hence why we're using a red eyeshadow. Then going in with my white gel eyeliner from Inglot, I'm going to create my tribal war paint. And again, I kind of just played around with a couple different shapes and I wanted to follow. Um, I knew I wanted to go down the middle of my nose, so I just started um, with a design and a pattern. And then I did carry it across my eyebrows and then added some dots in there. So I freehanded this whole thing. This wasn't um, really planned, but I really like how it turned out actually like really easy and pretty fun to create it was a pain in the butt to get off though but hey at least you don't have to worry about it falling off in your Halloween party Now moving on to the lips, I'm using one of my liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild to create this middle stripe and I did cover my lips in foundation and set it with powder when we did the rest of our face so that way we would have really pale lips and it would almost kind of conceal into our skin. And then I'm lining the edges of that with a glitter gold eyeliner from NYX and then down the center of our lips I'm going to use that eyeliner again just to kind of continue on that face paint. But that's it for this look. It's super easy super simple it probably took me 20 to 30 minutes to do the whole thing so if you're putting together a Halloween outfit really quickly this is what I did just cut up a shirt make it look kind of tribal-esque throw some feathers in your hair and you're good to go um I actually am really tempted to do this for Halloween now but um that's not my costume I'm gonna be happy surprise surprise <laughs> But if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below what else you guys want to see on my channel and check out the rest of my Halloween looks. Follow me on all of my social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links as well as a list to the products that I use in this video will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!